Only a little one, though. Oh! There we go! Oh! Ooh. No! Oh! Sorry about that. No! <laughs> you turd bug! How's it going, guys? The final render here, and welcome to Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. This is one of those games where the controls are so unbelievably difficult, and the task seems so incredibly impossible, you wonder why anyone would bother. But it's going to be great fun, and I'm going to be giving it a go. Now, I have played this game before. I actually tried to record it for about 45 minutes yesterday. But it only recorded the first frame of video, didn't it? So I've got to start again. Infuriating. Come on. Push. Push. Hey, there we go. It's Justin Timberlake in a pot. Definitely my favourite meal. Now, this game, the idea is we need to traverse the level using only this hammer. And we control everything with the mouse only. And we've got no keyboard control or anything like that. And it's very difficult to manoeuvre the hammer. And obviously, every time we get higher up, up this mountain we've got to climb, there is always the risk of falling back down the mountain. And then we can literally be sent right back to the start of the game. Even if we are on the very last it's moments of the game. Than over. Oh yeah, and the narrator keeps talking to us, the games designer. The it was due. So the games designer, Bennett Foddy, always comes in and starts chirping in with his opinion. And uh, unfortunately... It sounds kind of mocking sometimes, you know. This a homage to a free game that came out in 2002. Yes, just like that. Hit. 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 Yeah, there we go. Alright, so as I said, I actually did play this for like 45 minutes or an hour yesterday, so I'm pretty good at like the first maybe 10 minutes of the game. But everything after that is a complete mystery to me. So, you really got to be careful with this game because you see the tip of this hammer? The one that I'm holding right here? Just like that. If that makes contact with anything if it's doing it fast it will send you launching and you've really got to be careful where you put the hammer in a certain way sexy hiking stop is the talking dude of a B game. all right so unfortunately him just chirping in really does get on your nerves after a while but you can turn it off in the options menu but it's sometimes it's quite funny when he actually yells at you for messing up but anyways when you kind of maneuver around and stuff with this game, you can kind of launch yourself, you can fling yourself off things, or you can be very delicate and just kind of lower yourself onto things. But it takes huge amounts of control with the mouse. It really, really does. This designer actually used to make a game called Quarp, I believe it was called. And that was doing like the kind of Newgrounds Flash era. And it was a very similar kind of idea of giving you really difficult controls. Anyway, and when you start sexy hiking, stop talking to me, dude. Stop next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get oh, over that tree. Oh, oh, a lot of people oh, never oh, got past There we go. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the oh, limits oh. of your reach and your strength. Trying to find a way up and over. Oh. And there's a sense of truth in that lack oh. of compromise. Oh. Most obstacles oh. in video game worlds oh. are fake. You oh. can be completely confident in your ability to get through them. Oh. Once you have the correct yeah. method. Oh. Oh. And that makes the game unique Done and frustrating. To reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Oh, please stop talking, dude. <laughs> Alright, so, this is kind of near to where I've got to before, and, building a video game world, oh, stop talking, whenever you're kind of moving around, sometimes you don't necessarily want to be fast, sometimes you want to be slow, but to tell you the truth, a lot of the times going slow or fast is possible, no matter what, but in this case, this is something I need to do slowly, I need to put myself onto this rock here, but unfortunately, I'm on a very steep edge, and I can't really set myself down on the floor safely. Okay. Oh. So I've got to be real careful now. Again, if that hammerhead hits anything, it will send me down flying, I guarantee it. Alright, so very carefully put it into position. And now. Time for aggression. You've got to hit this with aggression. Oh. There we go. And again. Oh. There we go. And up, up, up. Oh. Hippity hop all the way to the birdie boiler. Oh, oh, oh. Be very careful. That tree on the side, I know, is not real. You will fall past that tree and literally be sent back to the very start of the game. If you fall off this tiny little ledge here, it will literally send you back to the start. It is very harsh in that sense. Oh, that's why the game is called Getting Over It. Okay. We're in a good position now. If we can launch ourselves up here, we will be good. But yeah, I, I do love this game for its kind of s simplicity, I suppose. But I hate it as well for its pretentiousness. <laughs> I really do. Oh, yeah. It because the kind of games designer is constantly now, talking to you. Games would soon be made it can come off as very pretentious. Objects. 
badly made. Yes, yes, I know you want to keep talking about your amazing I mean, game design, how amazing your game is. You put it in the sink. Oh, do do do. Oh. To be consumed. Not really Once interested, though, gone, if I'm honest, dude. Form into garbage. Oh. In the context of technology, those oh, moments pass oh, by in seconds. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, there the we go. Okay, this part's really difficult now. You've got to do like a monkey bar thing on it. Vastly outnumbers uh, can I reach it? Things that are yes, I can. Okay. And Pull myself over. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes oh. the new medium. The lingua franca of the digital age. Lingua you franca. Can culture out of trash. God's sake. But only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. Stop talking, dude. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, no! That was close. And I want to lower myself right on the edge. Oh, lower myself right on the edge. Do it, do it, do it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. Oh, dear. You see, just moving the mouse slightly wrong can cause it to launch. You've really got to make sure you've got a lot of room for your hand to maneuver. And make sure you are comfortable with your mouse setup. You know, don't go changing your DPI and stuff like that. Make sure you've got your mouse to a comfortable position. So you can master the game's momentum. Uh, oh. Well, god damn it. What am I meant to do here? <laughs> Gotta pull myself. Oh, no, that was easier than I thought. Alright. Pull myself. Why can't I go that way? Does it want me to go on the roof or something? Oh, there we go. 3D models of breakfast. Ah. Gen X's fanfic novels. Scan magazines. Green screen Shia LaBeouf. Oh, we're just doing the Fight Club lively. thing. Shut Facebook's up. Got oh, yep. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. That was a good save right there. Okay, pulling myself over the barbecue. Oh, oh dear. Uh, I never put myself in this situation before. Uh, yo. Come on, Vladimir Putin, use those muscles. As I said, he looks like Tim Blake or Putin. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, I've got to start focusing a bit more. Okay, stop making jokes about Russian leaders. There we go. And the no, the freaking slide got in the way. Okay. Oh, real careful. No. Oh. Keep hitting the wrong part. You know, like, I, I do like games that are hard. I found myself enjoying games that are harder more often as I got older. Like when I was younger, if it was a game that was too hard, I would just wouldn't play it. I think, yeah, it's not fun, you know. I don't really want to have that challenge, I want to relax. But nowadays, there we go, getting it, ooh, getting it now. Ooh. <laughs> but nowadays, I find myself enjoying harder games more and more and more. That's not to say there isn't a limit, of course. I mean, there is always a limit with difficulty. Some things are just difficult for the sake of being difficult, and that's not fun. But, challenging is fun. There we go. Ah. Oh, oh. Hey, there we go. Okay, I got over it. Sweet. Now, this is where I've reached my maximum. I don't know what's after this part now. Okay, I've seen some videos and stuff like that, but I didn't really pay too much attention. I kind of turned them off thinking... I know I will want to do some game gameplay of this on the channel, if I can actually get my words out. Alright, so, I believe I need to launch myself onto those fragile boxes. What? There we In go. In this context, oh. it's tempting to make friendly oh. content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it, but not earn it. Why make something demanding, if it just gets piled up in the landfill, the bland things? Chill for a moment, never got this far. <laughs> Chill for a moment. Okay, I didn't even know I was meant to land on this. Okay. So now, presumably, I need to get onto those stairs over there. Okay, let's take it a bit slower now. Take it just a tad bit slower. Maybe I'm being mean on the designer by saying he's being pretentious and stuff. Because I, I don't like it when people explain art. I'm sorry, I really don't. Oh! Because if the piece can't actually be explained unless someone explains it to you, then it's not done a very good job of conveying its message. Alright, go! Oh, 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 oh! When games were new, oh. they wanted a lot from you. Yeah. Daunting you. Taunting yeah. you. Besetting. But that's not you. You're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. You know, that sounds a bit flirty. But all right. Presumably, I don't got these stairs now. I've got to hit that camera, that wooden camera on the side. It's going to be very difficult, isn't it? All right. So, if I can kind of get a bit... Ooh. Get a bit closer. 
I probably need to put my hammer right on the edge of that chair. Maybe I can... Oh, no! Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. A real punch you in the gut. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> I was just getting ready to do a big jump. Where am I? Oh, I'm by the barbecue again. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Opa. Opa. Oh. Opa. Oh. Opa. Lopa. Duba dee doo. I've got another puzzle for you. I don't know what the words to. There we go. Okay, I'm back to the slide. Back to the slide. Okay. Ha. Two. Look at me dabbing. So boom. This is a hammer dab simulator. Boom. All right. So, all dabbing aside, let's see if we can get back to where we were before. Get up back to the boxes. Oh, there we go. Ah. So now I needed to drop down, didn't I? So shouldn't be too hard, really. Oh dear. Oh. How did I do that? <laughs> I couldn't do that again if I tried. Oh. Got a bit of a problem here. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Excellent, excellent. Right. Come on. Ignoring the fact that gravity does not appear to function in this world, except for me, that is. I'm the only one affected by gravity, rather unfortunately. I need to get back to those stairs. Okay. I don't think I can just get to the very edge and then reach out. I do think I need to do some kind of launch. Only a little one, though. Oh! There we go! Oh! Ooh. No! Oh! Sorry about that. No! <laughs> you turd burglar! It's climbing time. Come on now! I have had enough of this! No. Mm. Oh. It's just this one section. It's not even hard. I've done it before. I have done it several mm. times before now. But just... <laughs> Not now, Dank Doge! Oh, no! Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying, don't let it get to you. I'm going to end this video here, people. I'm going to end it here. I made new progress. As I said, I tried it before and I never got that far. I'm going to leave it there. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. It has been... I suppose it has been fun in hindsight, but god damn, that was a horrible moment. That was a horrible fall right there. And I hope you enjoyed watching. If you want to play more, let me know. I am actually trying to put out much more content, so stuff like this is going to be great. Remember to check out all the cool Patreon people in the description below who help support the channel with their financial donations. You, of course, can do the same yourself. And I'll see you in the next video. This has been the final render, and you'll be the audience. Until next time, it's hammer time. I actually fell down more. Damn it. The YouTube Gaming Video Guide is available now. Use this fantastic learning resource to learn everything you need to know about making high quality YouTube gaming videos. This online video course on Udemy currently has over six and a half hours worth of video content to teach you everything you need to know about how to make fantastic YouTube gaming videos, including how to capture your content, how to edit your content, how to record your audio and commentary tracks, how to create fantastic thumbnails and animations used in visual effects composition and 3D modeling, as well as some film theory and film history. You will also learn how to use some of the best equipment on the market and some of the best editing software on the market, so you can always be up to date with the latest trends and technologies. There is a fantastic discount coupon available to you. Use the coupon code GOOGLE to get a huge discount when you go to buy the course. So what are you waiting for? Learn how to make the best YouTube gaming videos right now. I can't believe I'm doing such a bad job with this, but as I said, I'm used to my light armor build, which is much, much faster. There we go, Asylum Demon dead. Okay, that was actually a bit harder than I remembered it being, but you know what? I still killed him first try, so that's not bad. And we've gained a humanity for doing that, so... To tell you the truth, I'm actually going to go ahead and...